Hey guys, this is Gypsy Mama back with another video. Burning some Palo Santo. Um, trying to feel the love. I love this Palo Santo. Also, really quick, guys, this is a reading that I'll be doing. I noticed I got a lot of views. It was a pretty good amount on the last one, so I'm going to do it again. Please leave a comment to let me know if it is resonating. I am putting on mugwort oil to help me get in touch with my third eye. Mugwort oil. I've already said a little prayer to my guardian angels and spirit guides. I'm going to be using my own Wheel of Fortune spray. It says it didn't happen by acts or by chance. It was destiny. This helps me in reading. Oh, it smells good. Ooh, I was proud of myself on that because I made a good smeller one. And I'm even going to put on a little bit of Van Van Wheel. Okay. The cards have been uh, sa saged. And Palo Santo. So, this is what it is, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be showing you guys these three decks. I will put the timestamps in the, uh, oh, shit. In the, uh, here we go. In the comments, or in the description. So, we have a Pile 1, Black Tourmaline. Pile 2, Amethyst. And Pile 3, Rose Quartz Chunks. So, there we go. Black Tourmaline, Pile 1. Amethyst pile two, rose quartz chunk pile number three. Okay, and we're doing a pretty good reading. I'm excited about it. It's going to be fast. I'm not going into the book for nothing. I'm just going right off the top of my head. So, for anybody who picked Black Tourmaline, here we go. First, let's do your tarot, and then we'll do some of the oracles. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guys, what's going on for pile number one? What's been going on for pile number one? What? Okay, so really quickly. All right, we have sacrifice and we have patience. Um, okay. Guardian angels and spirit guides, is there anything else? Okay. Crown chakra, throat chakra. All right, there's so you're going through a lot right now. It seems like you have been a very patient person, but you're going to get and taken advantage of. You've been sacrificing a lot um, for somebody else, um, and you're extremely spiritually strong to do that. You got the spiritual strength card. We do have the throat chakra coming out and crown chakra, and to be honest, what I get from that is the throat chakra, you need to learn to voice a little more your complaints or your issues that you're having with this person because it's just not fair, and you need to voice that. That's why you got throat chakra. As far as crown chakra, that's all about your head and thinking, and honestly, I think it has to do with common sense. So, um, guardian angels. Jeez. All right, we have recognition and reward. So, it seems like, you know, for your sacrifices, you will be rewarded for it. You will. Can we ask guardian angels and spirit guides, when will the reward come? When is the reward coming for pile number one? Oosie doosie. Okay. We got balance, emotional, and, or balance and emotional withdrawal. Um, so things need to be more balanced first before you get the reward. Um, you're maybe emotionally withdrawing from people, which is not healthy at the moment. Guardian angels and spirit guides. Okay, and this phase in your life is going to end because you have the death card. And don't be scared by that. The death card does not mean dying. It just means something in your life is going. And so actually what's a great pile for you right now is we're doing the self-care oracle. This seems like you need a little self-care. So guardian angels and spirit guys, what can I possibly tell my pile number ones about self-care? What is it you need to work on? Okay, make a meal. Maybe you need to put a little weight on. Maybe you need to gain a little strength. Maybe you have a little more protein. Something is... So you need to eight see more. All right, hold on, sorry. I know you guys are like seeing the cards probably. Madamba. Ah, see what I do when this kind of misty mistake happens? Misty mistake. Okay, see whatever went. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say whatever went upright, and it says right here, flow like water. So maybe do we have some Pisces energy up in the building? Um, we also have Scorpio energy. We have Sagittarius energy. There is something else I'm trying to think of. Party angels. Okay, I mean, like, it seems like I'm just... All right, that one came in. 
All right, and you got two more, and this is the uh, ending ones I'm going to go with, but you have intuition and health checkup, which to me makes sense. You did uh, get the crown chakra. That is not the third eye chakra, but still, I think it's the fact that you need to start using more common sense and what your gut's telling you to learn how to tell people, no, you're not able to do it, and maybe a health checkup should be involved for yourself. So, really quickly... Let's go through the Moonology deck. Party and Angels and Spirit Guides. Is there anything I can tell? Pile number one. I didn't even tell pile number one. Okay, so I'm only going to do two of these. And you have a new romantic cycle begins and have faith in your dreams. So, and that's all about the new moon in Libra. And then we have the waxing crescent moon. So there's also Libra energy up in here. Um, so obviously it speaks for itself. You will find somebody else. Maybe this is, is about you sacrificing for a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever. For the spirit animal, we have deer. That makes a lot of sense. That's You seem to me somebody who is a very innocent, soft energy. Somebody who maybe is quiet and shy, but is also very helpful. Now, let's see, Guardian Angel Spirit Guides. What spirit animal is the person that's taking advantage? Okay, well, the snake. Jeez. Oh my guys, but the snake also is about somebody that keeps going. As you can see, the snake is eating its own tail. So he's not going to stop. He's going to keep going and going and going. He's eating his tail. That's it for pile number one. All right. Now I'm just going to throw all these over here. Not throw because you have to have respect for the cards, but put, put them over here. Now let's move on to my pile number two. Pile number two for my amethyst group. Here we go. Um, let's start with the tarot cards first. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What is going on for pile number two? Okay, we have Leo energy coming out right away. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What is going on for my pile number twos? What is going on for pile number two? All right, so we have destiny. That's the wheel of fortune. We have the solar plexus chakra. And we have material harvest. Seems to me you're going to be coming into a lot of money and power soon. And I'm not even making this up. Uh, but the Destiny card comes out, which is Wheel of Fortune, and that's because it was Destiny for this to happen. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can I get more information on what is... Okay, so we have Deception and Envy and a Spiritual Union. So that reminds me of um, you're probably going to get in a relationship soon, or maybe you've just found somebody... Um, there could be somebody from afar who's being envious of what is going on for you right now. Cause you, I mean, you came out power, destiny, harvest of material, you know, like you got a lot going on for yourself and it could be the girl that you're dating or the guy that you're dating, or it could be somebody that's also watching from afar. So be careful of that. You got some of that energy going on there. Guardian angels and spirit. Sorry. And actually, one flew in upright, and that was actually the Aries card. So if we have any Aries in the building, sorry, there's authority going on. Um, usually people that have power are Aries because they're very um, strong-willed people. They're very competitive. Are you angels? Okay, victory and success. So there will be, oh my God, guys, you are in for a treat, man. There's a lot of good things that's going to be happening for you. Are you using spirit guys? A lot of good things. Oh my gosh. And you guys get triumphant success. You guys are going to have a victorious ending, man. God. Guys, I am just like, what? No way. All right. Really quick. Sorry. We have fulfillment of wishes. So to me, that reminds me of the um, Nine of Cups card. I believe it's Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups card, which is all about manifesting wishes. So this is a good time to start manifesting. A good time to start figuring out what you're going to do. All right. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Sorry. That fell off. That's embarrassing. But guess what? I don't care. All right. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Please help me. See, I don't, I don't edit stuff. This stuff's real for me. All right. Can we have, what is going to help pile number two feel better? What is going to help pile number two feel better? Woo! 
la banda. Sí, it's like sometimes the car just fly like, where's la banda? Guardian angels, okay. Sex. Hmm, I can see that. And sound healing. Guys, you have a Tibetan singing bowl. Um, it goes... That, that's kind of... Guardian angels and spirit guides, what is going to help feel... Make pile number two feel better. Build strength. Well, you're emotionally and, um, you know, mentally strong. You need to learn how to get physically stronger, maybe. Okay. And these are the last ones. We have abundance planning and alone time. And to be honest with you, um, abundance planning reminds me a little bit of um, the Wheel of Fortune card. So we have that. Sorry, guys. I am going on to the Monology cards. Whoa. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. What is... All right, so you have Be Bold and Make the First Move, Cardinal Moon. So could there be Capricorn energy going on in this? Probably. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Okay, we have Scorpio energy, which makes sense with the sex. Work through your fears. And then we have It's Time to Take Action. You have Aries, which I just said Aries came out as authority. So heavy, heavy energy of the Scorpion Aries. Um, you need to be careful and work through your fears. Because honestly, it just seems like there's people that could be very jealous of you. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides. You got the shark. Well, wow. somebody, and you know, a lizard and a bear. Now, to be honest with you, the shark is somebody that is um, out for prey. They're out to search for prey. The bear, he hibernates. He's careful. It's That's a heavy Capricorn energy. He's planning for winter and hibernating, keeping care of his family. You guys need to be stronger. And don't worry, he's got an amazing breed. It's going to be working out for you in the end. Okay, now we have pile number three. Sorry, guys. Oh, please stop. Sorry. We have pile number three. And I'm going to... Sorry, I have to move the cards, you know, so I don't confuse them. This is live, guys. Real stuff here, real stuff. All right. So for those of you that chose the Rose Quartz Chunk... Okay, right away, I just want to say two, two came out for you, and that's the unicorn and the earthworm. I just got to say, that's making me feel like I'm dealing with an energy that is uh, very unique and all their own. They are a very unique person and special. Guardian angels and spirit gods can I... Ooh, all right, first thing we have here is the devil. So do we have Capricorns in the building? Do we have a Capricorn in the building? devil came out guardian angels and spirit guys um we have obstacles and challenges i wouldn't be shocked if um the star came out but let's see obstacles and challenges guardian angels and spirit guys we have a firm foundation we have truth truth Mental conflict, and we have Gemini energy. That could be the unicorn or the earthworm. Geminis are usually a bit different than um, most, of, and so are Aquariuses. They're known to be kind of quirky signs. Um, seems to me that there's some kind of uh, something pulling you back here with the devil card. It's basically saying that you're hooked on or attached to something, and you cannot break the chains. Now, yours did come in upright, which means you're having a hard time breaking these chains. Um, you need to learn how to stand on a firm foundation. There's obstacles and challenges that are going to be lying ahead along with your mental conflict. You just need to find the truth. There's also going to be, okay, and guess what, guys? Can I just get real here? This is Aquarius, so Aquarius did come out. And then we also have Cancer Energy. We have the Chariot. And then we have really quick Third Eye Chakra. So what I'm getting out of all of this is that you're basically needing to step into your own light as a star. You know who you are. You know what you're capable of. You need to step into it. There, There's a road that's going to... Your chariot basically means movement. You know, so you are going to be getting to the end. It's going to take time for your movement. Um, you need to learn how to use your third eye chakra a bit more. Guardian angels and spirit guides. 
Is there any messages I could tell my pile number three from the Moonology deck? All right, so you actually got Taurus, which is Prosperity Lies Ahead. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guys, can I get... Ooh, I'm doing... All right, and we have Cancer Energy, which says you and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like you're worrying a little bit about some people. What you need to do is listen to some more music. I think music's a big love for you. Whoever you are, you love music. Especially if you're a Gemini or Aquarius. Um, then we have make a vision board. I don't know. Are you guys having a drug problem? I'm just being honest. There seems something to me like that. Guardian angels and spirit guides. Okay. Learn how to use your hands more. And then I'm just going to do one more flip of blue. Okay, movement, <laughs> which is what you got with the chariot card. So things are going to move along for you. They will. I feel like you're going to find somebody. There's going to be some kind of relationship you find yourself in. So, guys, this was it for as far as my tarot card read. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing the timestamps in the description box. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you're thinking, and let me know if any of this had any made any sense to you at all, any resonation. Okay, bye, guys.